Okay, you had to have seen this one coming. We've got the one-tenth scale desert truck. We've got the one-thirty-sixth scale micro desert truck. Here it is, the one-eighteenth scale mini desert truck. Following along the same traditions as the other minis from Losi, this truck should be a ton of fun and it packs a lot of great features in underneath the body. One of the first things that you're going to notice on this versus, say, a Mini T is it does have a longer wheelbase. The wheelbase has been stretched out on this truck, very similar to when you compare the Micro T to the Micro Desert truck. It's about the same ratio as what you're going to find on those two between this and on the Mini T. It also maintains the same excellent scale appearances that both the 10th scale Desert truck and the 36 scale ones do. Part of that is achieved through the body itself. It has a great looking body that's available in green, Blue is what we have here, and red. Things are a little bit different on this body than, say, what's on the 10th uh, scale version. On the 10th scale version, the roll cage was actually part of the chassis for all intents and purposes. On this one, as you can see here, the roll cage is actually incorporated into the body. And you can easily remove that. There's two body clips that hold it onto the back there, and then two more that hold it onto the, uh, uh, the rear of the cab on the truck as well. So say that you start with the blue body here, you want to add the red one, you don't have to buy a separate roll cage, you can just transfer your existing roll cage out. Along with the body and the roll cage, you also have the buckets in the front bumper and on the rear taillights, where if you want to add the optional light set, you can do that, and then you can achieve the same night scale approach that what the 10th scale truck has as well. Running out the aesthetics on the 18th scale uh, mini desert truck is going to be first of all a set of scaled down tires that pretty accurately uh, recreate the look and the feel of the 1 10th scale version. You also have these nice chrome looking wheels. They look fabulous. Uh, very good knockoffs of what the larger scale trucks are. And overall it's just very aesthetically pleasing. The graphics look great. The decals look great. It does come with a full decal sheet too. So you can go ahead and further customize it beyond how it comes out of the box. So let's go ahead and we'll take the body off and let's take a closer look at some of the chassis details. Just like the shocks on the mini slider and the mini late model, the oil filled shocks on the mini desert truck include this convenient bleeder screw. What that does for you is while you're filling your shocks, what you can do, fill the shock up with oil, put the piston and everything in it, seal it off, pull the screw out, and then run the piston up into the shock body. It'll help you bleed out excess shock fluid and ensure that you have no air in the shock body whatsoever. It also includes threaded rods for your camber links and for your towing links on the front and for your camber link on the rear. Other than that, suspension-wise, very similar to the other uh, the mini T's that are out there as well. Uh, you do have the taller front body post here to help uh, get you set up with the desert truck body. And then you have a little bit different rear shock tower here than what's on the uh, mini T as well. Again, these are all to optimize the performance with the longer chassis that you have here on the mini desert truck. Beyond that, the chassis itself does look a little bit different than what the Mini T's does. It's a longer chassis, that's a given, but it's also a little bit different configuration. It's a little bit narrower than what you had on the Mini T. And what this allows you to do is get the weight more centrally located here in the center of the chassis. Now, if you do have a Mini T and you pick up a Mini Desert Truck, you can use all your same uh, battery packs that you have. It'll still accept the, the typical 4x2 or 4x1 battery packs, and it'll also use the, uh, the LiPo battery packs throughout there as well for, uh, say, like the Mini Slider and the Mini Late Model. They'll all fit right in here very easily. Electronics-wise, there's nothing really new here. We've got the proven low-C speed controller and receiver combo, although this does have one tweak. It now includes a standard three-wire servo connection on here. So you can basically use, say later on you want to go ahead and install a low-C Acceleron brushless system and a Spectrum DX 2.0 radio with an SR3000 receiver. You can do that. All you have to do is plug your servo into your new receiver, bind your receiver to your radio, program the speed controller to the radio, and you're good to go. You don't have to replace your servo too if you do decide to go ahead and change to a different uh, speed controller or receiver setup on here. Stock motor does go ahead and get this truck up to a respectable speed. And just like the Mini T, the Mini Slider, and the Mini Late model, it is a three gear transmission design. It includes a bottom mounted gear differential and a top mounted slipper clutch. Now, one of the very cool things about the fact that this is a Mini T based truck, any, practically any hop up for the Mini T will bolt right onto this. So from Acceleron uh, brushless systems 
oil fill shocks, different springs, different A-arms, uh, you name it. If it's designed for the Mini T, the Mini Slider, or the Mini Late Model, odds are it's going to fit on the Mini Desert Truck as well. Losi continues to innovate, and the 118 scale Mini Desert Truck is no exception here. We're looking forward to get some transmitter time with this truck in the very near future. Keep an eye out on the web for our full review of the Mini Desert Truck coming from Losi.